<clears throat> Mr. Caesar, hello, sir. Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening, Mr. Caesar. Let's see who we have here, Mr. Miguel and Miss Karina. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, sir. Just one second. Ahora yo fue el que me, me, me mudé, mire, Mr. Cesar. <laughs> sí, está en otro lado, ¿verdad? Sí. No, o sea, aquí en la casa. Sí. En, otra, en otra parte de la casa. Sí, en otro rinconcito. <laughs> ah, bueno. Es bueno. okay, mejor la señal. Ya, yeah, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> you never know, right? With this, you never know. Nunca se sabe. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening, Miss Karina. Ready? I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, it's still Monday, Mr. Miguel. Hello. Hello, did you? Hello, sir. Right. I can see, Miss Karina, that uh, your your family members are watching TV while you are studying. The same happens over here at home. Same happens over here. Okay. So while I'm working, the rest of my family uh, is watching TV. Right. <laughs> yeah, my my little brother is playing video games. Oh, okay. Yeah. Of, of course, right. That's what they do. <laughs> Miss Portillo, hello. Portillo. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Nivel fast. Ah, okay. <laughs> yes, celebrando. <laughs> Santaneca, Santaneca. Sí. <laughs> Yes, it was about time. It was about time. Ya era hora, ¿verdad? It's about time. Sí, ya. Ya mucho. Sí, sí. Mire, teacher, le iba a hacer una consulta. Fíjese que en la semana dos Ajá. hay unas preguntas que salen, no da de ninguna manera, quizás están mal elaboradas. Ahí le voy a mandar al WhatsApp este, las, los ejercicios. Bye. Send them. Uh -huh. Okay. Para que yo de ahí porque no de ninguna manera. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me open the, the platform right now. Let's see what happens. Mientras más gente se une. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. So how is how is Sor City treating you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
¿Cómo está el tunco? What is the tunco like right now? Bastante lleno. Uh, good. That's, is that good for tourism? ¿Es, ¿Eso es bueno para el turismo? Oh. Sí, estamos, estamos conociendo muchos, muchos países okay. de diversos colores. <laughs> <risa> Unos chelitos, otros negritos. <risa> negritos. <risa> That's... Pero sí. Great. All right. All right, so welcome aboard everyone, Mr. Oscar Gamero. I have you here, sir, and then uh we take you from here. Let me just one second over here. Welcome everyone. Hold on, please. Let me just mute your microphones over here. All right. So uh, just following on your request, Miss Portillo, let's check it out. Um, unit two. Okay. And see what happens over here. You just let me know, please, which is the exercise that makes no sense, please. Is it this one? Yes. All right. So exercise nine. That's what I figure, right? That's what I figure. Well, let me just one second over here. Yes. Okay. Come on, please. I was adjusting the camera. All right. It says unscramble the following sentences. Remember to use capital letters and periods at the end of every sentence or a question mark if it is need it just one more please i change i this with product all right bye esto no lo hemos visto todavía pero prácticamente es cuando usted le pone el would en medio del sujeto like in between the subject and the verb right like in this case is change if uh, this makes uh sentence uh fictional i would say all right or hypothetical si usted le pone el wood a una palabra uh, perdón a un verbo a lo hace hipotético cuando usted dice yo compraría verdad eh, iría desearía okay eso es lo que el, el lo que significa cuando usted le coloca el would antes del verbo, cambia el significado. ¿Qué pasaría? ¿Verdad? Le pongo what would happen, ¿qué pasaría? En cambio, si yo le digo what happens, ¿qué pasa en este momento? Tiempo presente. ¿Verdad? Prácticamente de, ese, de esto se trata este ejercicio. You, you, you have to write. We wouldn't place, no, we wouldn't, I'm sorry, we wouldn't stay in this place. Este, este, este lugar es horrible, ¿verdad? No me, no me quedaría en este lugar. ¿Ok? Esa pregunta es la que no, no, la, no la acepto. Ah, this one. All right. Uh -huh. We'll see. Vamos a ver si, si quiero ver. We would. Bueno. Apliquemos, ¿verdad? Lo más conocido. Copiar y pegar. <laughs> <laughs> Vaya, I have some options over here. Vaya, tengo opciones. Solo voy a colocar del we para adelante. Mm -hmm. Ok, primera opción. La segunda opción voy a reescribir completamente la oración. Wouldn't stay in this place. Vaya, esta es mi primera opción. All right? Sin el sujeto porque se supone que ahí aparece y tengo que complementar. Vamos a leer la indicación. Dice darle vuelta a esto, póngalo en orden. Use capital letters, blah, 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 puntos al final. También question marks, entre interrogación, dice si es necesario. Ok. I click on submit. And tan, 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 tan. Yeah, it's incorrect. Ahora pongámosle el we. We, right? Let's see what happens now. Yeah, there's one correct. Ahí está. You see that one? Así lo puse yo y no me lo. Quizás hay algún espacio. La voy a volver. Ajá, quizás. O la comida. La a... Quizás quiero ver. 
Ajá, una recomendación es Sí, que la que... comida es. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. La, usted, usted quizás tiene la colochita. Sí. <ríe> <ríe> tiene que ser pelo liso. Ajá. <ríe> yeah, that's the case. You never know what ah, this pues is. Ese, por eso es que me sale el error. Por la... Ah, exactly. Exactly. Good. Thank you, you are inspired because fast one, right? Ya va por la unidad tres. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I hope you're better. All right, I hope you're better with your back. Okay. I mean, um, la primera teacher. Uh, ¿Por qué no le salió buena? Ah, porque no terminé de escribirla. I didn't finish writing it. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, that's why. But if you if we wish, we would do it. I mean, we can do it right now. I mean. I would change this product, right? Uh, I have a question. Yes, sir. For, for the last week, uh, the homework one to five, right? Correct. For this week, the six or maybe 11 or 10? Until 10, yes. Okay, thank you. Yes. Yes, this week we have unit two, I mean, section two, um, unit two online orders and refunds from homework assignments six through 10 until Friday, all right? And after this, you, you will have to work on the midterm. Inmediatamente después de la sección 2 o unidad 2 está el examen parcial, que es el que se conoce como midterm, ¿verdad? Pero eso más detalles. Nosotros hemos venido a, a practicar un poquito más, ¿verdad? Let me stop this one and let's start with the rest of the class over here. All right. Don't pay attention to this screen. This is just the class that I have uh, prepared for you. We're going to start with this, okay? With the uh, one on one sessions reminder, right? There you go. So, as you know, every single day we have. Uh, one on one sessions at 10 p.m. All right. And then this evening we have Miss Susana Margarita Portillo. Tomorrow, Miss Evelyn Patricia Caballero. On Wednesday, Miss Sonia Mabel. Thursday, Miss Karina Elizabeth. And Friday is Mr. Edwin. It's almost women power this week, I can say, right? In the one on one sessions. All right. Okay, that's it. Save the day, please. Guardemos la fecha. So we're going to start with this review about the uh, countable or uncountable nouns. And basically what you have to do is to drag many if the noun is countable or match if the noun is uncountable. ¿verdad? We're going to start with this interactive exercise. In a second, I'll be sharing with you the access to these activities. En un segundo les envío el acceso a esta actividad. Keep in mind that this is just a review. You don't really have to worry about this, but I need to uh, close this chapter down, all right? Creo que con eso culminamos la unidad uno, ¿verdad? Haciendo este breve, breve repaso, okay? Let's see, somebody texted. All right, so I'm sending the access to this, okay? Let me just one second over there. All right, so remember last week that we talked about count versus non-countable nouns. We also talked about be going to for the future. And we also talked about some other things, right? So that's what I think it's important for us to review uh, at least for some couple of minutes today. At least we can review this topic, okay? And let's see what else. Oh, we also talked about can for possibilities and yeah, that was basically. Then we also covered some vocabulary. También cubrimos un poco de vocabulario. Entonces, básicamente lo que les estoy diciendo es, vamos a trabajar en este ejercicio, ¿verdad? Que está el how much and how many, okay? Uh, I'm gonna share the screen with you right now. Hold on, please. And I'm making time to the ones that are just joining this class right now, okay?
<laughs> I got scared. That cat is scared me, right? <laughs> Pobre gato. It's not my cat, all right? Just for the record. <laughs> As you can see, that is the window, you know, that uh, connects the, the street in there, right? So it's in the street. <laughs> it actually scared me. I was like, <laughs> but you didn't see it, right? Es mal que no vieron el susto que me sacó. Buena anécdota, right? Okay, so this is the screen I was talking to you about, right? So just enter your name over there and then it'll take you here. So why don't you work on this one, please? All right. And then the, if you think it's correct, you go number two. So, and like that, right? So how much fruit do you eat a, a day, right? I have a cheese or I have cheese every day for breakfast. Remember that for the uncountable nouns, we never add a or an, all right? We cannot say, I like uh, an cream, right? Quiero cre una crema. No, no, no. You say, I like cream, all right? Same case as cheese over there. Recordemos las reglas de oro, por favor, ¿verdad? Golden rule. We, you, we never add an S. Nunca le agregamos una S, ¿verdad? Si es un uncountable nouns. Nunca lo, lo hacemos singular o individualizamos, sino. Um, and we need to use much, all right? If it's, if it's uh, uncountable, okay? Entonces, vamos a poner eso acá, and then you do it. Do it on your own, please. I sent you the access already, uh, so you can work on that one, please. Le mandé los accesos para que trabajemos, por favor. So we can do it right now as a review, please. Thank you. I'm sorry. So once you finish, uh, share with me your score, please, in the chat. All right. In that way, I, I can uh, keep track of what you do. All right. Thank you. All right, so who would like to help me uh, do uh, exercise one through five? One, two, three, four, five. Who would like to help me, please? If you finish already, of course, right? I'm checking in here. So who would like to help me with the exercises over there, please? Uh, from one through five, please. All right, so thank you, Mr. Erwin. Uh, you submitted this already. Appreciate your help in there. All right, so who says me, please? I don't wanna pick up, all right? That's number two, that's number three, that's number four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten over there. Okay. Okay, so I need a volunteer, please, that can help me do activities one through five. 
De la 1 a la 5, please. I need a volunteer, please, right now. All right, Mr. Edwin, go ahead, please. All right, so number one. Okay, teacher. Uh, how much uh -huh. fruit do you eat a day? All right, how much fruit do you eat a day? All right, thank you. Number two. I have cheese every day for breakfast. For breakfast, right? All right. That's your breakfast, right? And how? How many times a week do you eat potatoes? Do you eat potatoes all right? Remember that times, time is tiempo, verdad? Pero times son momentos, okay? O veces. In this case, it means veces. Veces, ¿verdad? Entonces está refiriendo a la, a la frequency. It's, so it's talking about the frequency. That's why we use many, okay? Thank you. Continue, please. I eat rice every day. I eat rice every day, okay? Next one, please. And the last one for you. I am a vegetarian, so I never eat meat. I'm a vegetarian or a veggie, so I never eat meat. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Sibiana. Okay, so may I have somebody else, please, raising uh, his or her hand, please. Somebody that says me, all right, please. Uh, Karina, please. Thank you. Go ahead, please. Number six, please. Okay. I eat a lot of fish. I eat a lot of fish, you said. You do? Really? <laughs> yeah. All I right. That's, that's good. Okay. Next one, please. I am allergic to shellfish. I'm allergic to shellfish. Okay. Uh, how many eggs do you eat a week? How many eggs do you eat a week? A lot, right? You may say, right? Okay. And I don't eat many apples. I don't eat many apples. Okay, thank you. And the very last one, please. I usually I, I usually I usually eat a lot of French fries. A lot of let's see French fries. Is that a vegetable? Yes. <laughs> yeah yeah i mean potatoes are vegetable but french fries um they're not really healthy right they're not really healthy right? okay let's see some answers now oh, i have to submit one by one right Yeah, we know that everything is, is it's okay, right? All right, so I'm a, a vegetarian, so I never eat meat, right? Carne, verdad, aunque sea variedad de carnes, no se le agrega la S, meat, okay? I eat a lot of fish, pescados, verdad? En español es pescados. Pero eh, esta palabra, a lot of, que significa bastante, muchos, Esta es la forma plural para cualquier palabra. Usted dice, yo tengo mucho trabajo que hacer. I have a lot of work to do. Ok. I'm allergic to shellfish. Las conchas. How many eggs do you eat a week? All right. I don't eat many apples. That's ok. And, and, and uh, usually eat a lot of uh, French fries. Everything is correct over there. Okay, nice. Now there's, there comes the other practice that I have prepared for you. Now, this is the other practice that I have for you. Take a look at this. So take a look at this uh, woman's daily routine. From the moment she gets up until the time she goes to bed. You see that, right? You have 6 a.m. and then she's having breakfast, drinking coffee, then she takes the bus. Uh, she has lunch with uh, her colleague or friend, and then at 10 15, she goes to bed. What I just told you is her daily routine, but what you're gonna do is 
to answer to this question, what is she going to do today? All right. ¿Qué va a hacer ella? Entonces lo vamos a hacer en forma futuro. All right. It's a future tense in there. All right. So, um, and we're going to do both practices over here. All right. We're going to do both practices in here. Uh, please. In the chat, right, in the general chat and that we have, or in private, all right, I think it's better if you do this in private, okay? Write sentences of what she is going to do today, all right? Or let's say tomorrow, because right now it's, it's uh, too late already. So, prácticamente lo que les estoy pidiendo es que en, let's see, one, two, three, four, five sentences in a paragraph, you talk about the activities that she's going to do that's tomorrow, right? Or today. Casi hipotético que fuera comenzando el día, ¿verdad? De ella. Entonces, en el chat, y esto sí quiero que si, si gusta lo hacen en privado, ¿verdad? De forma individual. Mándeme las seis oraciones, por favor, en un párrafo, ¿verdad? No así oraciones sueltas, ¿verdad? Sino que trate de, de ponerle sentido, ¿verdad? Today. Y póngale nombre. So, uh, name her, right? Póngale nombre, right? So, write a name over there, right? Write a name to her. I don't know. Matilda, Maria, Anna. So, you be creative over there. And then you start. Maria wakes up at 6 a.m. And Maria is going to wake up at 6 a.m. today. Then she's going to have breakfast. She's going to eat uh, uh, sunny side of eggs, bacon, and she's going to drink coffee. After that, she's going to take the bus to go to work, all right? At noon, she's going to have lunch with uh, her best friend. And she's going to have rice with, uh, I don't know, chicken or meat in there. They're going to have fun or they're gonna talk about um, their, their plans. And at home, she's going to sleep around 10, 15. Something like that, right? So do that, please, as practice, all right? Vamos a hacer eso, ¿verdad? Como para cerrar con broche de oro la cuestión del going to. Y vamos a usar esto de, do, de dos formas. De forma escrita, individual, me comparte en un párrafo, ¿verdad? Las actividades que ella va a hacer. Si es posible, más de seis, ¿verdad? Y poniéndolas así como en contexto o creando una historia breve, ¿verdad? De unas cinco líneas usando las imágenes como guía, me las manda al chat individual, por favor. A eso que usted me mande, yo le voy a dar seguimiento el día de mañana, durante el día. All right? So I'm going to give you the feedback. All right? Because this uh, topic, this grammar is very important. All right? The future tense will be going to. Estos son de los temas que yo les digo que son importantes, igual que el presente simple. Porque uno siempre se refiere al futuro. Hoy voy a hacer tal cosa, mañana voy a hacer tal cosa, él va a hacer tal cosa, ¿verdad? And in class, I always tell you, so do this, or you're going to do this, you're going to work in this and do this, ¿verdad? Si se fijan las indicaciones que yo se las doy, se las doy en forma como de, de futuro, ¿verdad? Algo que va a pasar inmediatamente. Entonces, I think it's, it's essential for you to do this. Entonces, creo que sí es eh, primordial. Ok. So, I'm going to take the time. And I will give you the most five minutes, all right? Five minutes. So hold on, please. Le voy a compartir la imagen, verdad? Perdón, que no se las he enviado. Just one second, please. There you go, all right? It's loading. It. There you go, okay? Remember, uh, please do it as a paragraph. Don't do just, she is going to wake up at six, at six. she's going to have a, a breakfast or she's going to eat this and this and that, right? No, no lo hagamos en oraciones así, ¿verdad? Sin amarrar. Hagámoslo en un párrafo, por favor. Okay? Please. And I'm taking the time, right? Let's see. One second.
So once you finish the writing part, cuando terminamos la forma escrita, I will send you to the breaker room so you can practice with your classmates, okay? Thank you. All right, so I will send you to a breaker room right now, okay? I will send you to a breaker room right now, if you don't mind. Hold on. My teacher, I'm doing a video tomorrow. Follow us my breakfast, going to the public system. I'm just going to the relations. Right, so thank you, Karina. I got your response already. So what I'm doing is that I'm saving, I'm saving it, right? So one second. Estoy guardando su respuesta. One second, please. If you could send the same information through um, WhatsApp, Karina, if you don't mind, so I can reply to you tomorrow. Para que de esa forma okay. ya le conteste directamente tomorrow, of course. Thank you. Oops. Did you hear the thunder? Right. Sorry, so I'll be sending everyone to a breaker room right now. In the breaker room, just share what you wrote. Va a compartir lo que escribió. Si es posible, no lo leamos literalmente, por favor. Use it as a script, but ocupémoslo como guión. But don't read it, please. Don't depend too much on the reading. Okay? Please. There we go. All right. Join the rooms, please. All right, so please uh, join the rooms. Thank you. El comando ahorita en cuarto, Tisha Fer. Oh, okay. Está la humazón ahorita. Llamándose las pestañas. Sí, las pestañas. El, 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 poco, el, el poco poca masita gris que me he quedado <risa> ahí va de todo <risa> All right, so just try to join the uh, the break rooms please my friends okay thank you Because let's see, Mr. Jimenez, Miguel is waiting for Miss Karina, Mr. Oscar, and Miss Sulma to join, All right? And Sonia is also waiting for somebody to join. Hold on. Hold on. Thank cool. 
Sí. Hola, mucho gusto. ¿Terminaron ustedes? Sí, o sea, más o menos. Hola, Brenda, Mr. Francisco. Ah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Buenas noches, teacher, a todos. A todos. Yo solo me falta unirlo y armarlo como párrafo, porque solo hice oraciones. Ok. Ah. okay. Yeah, you need, uh, you need connectors. You know, connectors. Yes. Right. Good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Puede pasar en de 60 años también. Ok, ahorita estoy en eso. Ok. Muy bien. Estaba terminando la, la frase, yo no lo he terminado todavía. Pero yeah, no that's okay. Si... You still, you, hello, everyone. You still have time. Don't worry about it. Okay. Ok, este. Llevaba un poco, no sé si les, les digo lo que, lo que había escrito. Yeah. But uh, okay, you, you can also este... finish. I mean, you can finish and then share it with, the, with your classmates, okay. uh, Mr. Jimenez. Okay. All right. That's okay. Perfect. What is she going to do today? Yeah. Okay. The first picture. <clears throat> she is. She's get up to six a.m. She's going to get up. She's going oh, to get up. Going to, She's going to get up at six a.m. At six a.m. All right. Yes. Uh, picture two. Okay. She's going to break, have a breakfast. She's going to have breakfast without the A. She's going to have breakfast. Okay. Okay. Uh, for picture three, she's going to take bus. Yeah, you're right. Let me just let me just tell you something, Mr. Um, let's see, Gamero, right? Yeah, your, your examples are okay, but what I want you to do, please, is to make like a story, not just in picture one, picture two, it's like, it's like if you're saying what a friend of yours is going to do, you may say, Ana, Maria, Lucia is going to wake up at 6 a.m. Then she's okay. going to have breakfast, right? She's going to have uh, scrambled eggs with bacon and she's going to drink coffee. Once uh, she has breakfast, she's going to uh, take the bus to go to work. It's like a story, not only uh, ah, okay. This is in isolation, sir. Okay. Okay. Please. She's Marie. Or something. Okay. She's going to get up at 6 a.m. Uh, she has a breakfast. She eats bacon and egg at 7 a.m. She's going to she she get up take the bus. Uh -huh. She's going to take the bus, right? Okay. She's going to be Take the bus and uh, two o'clock. Uh -huh. She going to she gets uh, uh -huh, at two o'clock. You said she has a dinner and uh, ten. Quarter o'clock. Mm -hmm. She is going to sleep. She's going to sleep. Oh yeah, sure. That's mm -hmm. okay. Good. Yeah, that was good, sir. That was good. All right. And then, Mister um, Mister Jimenez, you can do the same. And then, Miss uh, Sonia Lazo. Yes. Uh, okay. I, I have finished. I have finished. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. So I'll be back. Just. I... <clears throat> okay. Uh, Diana going to wake up tomorrow at 6 a.m. All right, hold on. Cuatro de la tarde. Okay, that's good. Sí. Hello. Teacher. Hello. Hello. Yeah, you finished already? Yes. Yeah. All right. I like your story, uh, Miss Karina. Okay, I like your story over there. Ah, uh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. So your your friend is Carla, you said, right? Yeah, my best friend's Carla. <laughs> best friend, right? That's great. Okay. Yeah, a regular day for Carla, right? <laughs> yeah, I have right. two friends. Okay. Okay. 
So would you like would you like to um to read this in front of uh in front of me please? Just ah yeah okay me. okay okay tomorrow Carla who is my best friend is going to wake up at 6 a.m. Then she's going to eat a delicious breakfast. She loves eggs. Later she's going to take a bath. After that she's going to have lunch with me, and finally she's going to sleep at 10. 15 p.m. All right, that's good. That, that's pretty good. Okay. Um, when, when you talk about uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, which are meals of the day, you don't have to put ah or an, okay. all right? So we, we just say uh, she had, she's going to have breakfast, lunch, dinner, right? You, we don't say a dinner, a lunch, or, or a uh, breakfast, okay? Okay. Yes, because we're Just talking about food. Correct, correct, correct. Okay, correct. thank you. When you mention the type of food, yes, you say she's going to have eggs, right? Scrambled eggs, fried beans, okay? Right, and only one uh, French toast, right? Solo un pan francés. Ah, la verdad. All right, three. A right. tortilla. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> and toasted, toasted tortilla. All right. <laughs> toasted tortilla. <laughs> nice. Um, I'm going to close the rooms right now. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go to another room, and uh, give you one more minute. Okay. 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 Thank you. Hold on. Right. Muchachos, right. han pasado a la segunda etapa, a la tercera, perdón, pero hay uno que lleva el primer lugar, Brian Pérez. Muy bien. Ah, ese será bueno. Muy bien, muy bien. Sí, así que como ya para... Ya dicho, ya no levantado. <risa> Estamos trabajando, dice el teacher. Teacher. Ah, mire, ya, ya nos no, no va a sacar de... ¿Perdón? Mejor no pasa acá. Es trabajo armonioso. Está bueno, teacher. Teacher, tenemos una duda. Dígame. Era en futuro. Yes, sir. Ah, pues lo hicimos mal. Es que nosotros lo hicimos, pero lo hicimos mal entonces. En presente lo hicieron. Nosotros con imágenes, o sea, fuimos armando la historia. Pero no que se va a levantar a las seis. O sea, se levantó ya a las seis, o sea. Lo hicieron en pasado. En... en presente, sí, sí. presente. o hicieron una mezcolanza. No, es que es un... una mezcolanza una de historia. Chévere. No, no se preocupe, bueno. mándemelo, mándeme el texto por el chat y mañana yo durante el día les, 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 contest, les contesto. Papa. Así ya, para que quede esto bien claro. De hecho, el futuro, ¿verdad? Por eso ocupamos el going to, como she's going to. All right, so hello everyone. I was explaining this to uh, to some of you in a breakout room. So the purpose of, of this activity is to help you think about your future, right? Your future plans, like the things that you're going to do uh, at your work tomorrow or one of these days, right? El propósito de esto para que nosotros pongamos y reflexionemos, verdad, cómo ocupamos el futuro, esta estructura, okay? Eh, Think about yourself, the things that you're going to do this week, all right? Which is just starting, right? Just starting, okay? Pensemos en las actividades que usted va a hacer esta semana. Eso no lo vamos a hacer, ¿verdad? En esta clase, all right? But at least think about the things that you're going to do this week or the next one, all right? This is the last uh, date of uh, May. And tomorrow we start June, all right? So, So I think, I think it's the perfect timing. Creo que es el tiempo perfecto for us to think and reflect. Okay, so one month is over already. A new one just begins tomorrow. So what, I, what am I going to do this month? Or what do I have to do? Te piensa, verdad? Usted se organiza. Esta estructura, verdad, es, es no quiero decir obligación, verdad, aprendérsela, pero creo que es, it's necessary, right? It's necessary. Creo que es, It's important, it's essential, ¿verdad? Parte de importante creo que es esencial, ¿verdad? Usted, usted la maneja. 
Así que como una, un, un extra seguimiento para el que lo desee, ¿verdad? Y tenga la, la disposición o el tiempo, mándeme el texto por el chat en WhatsApp y si ya lo hizo, thank you so much. Si no lo ha hecho y lo piensa hacer mañana, durante la mañana o en la tarde, that's okay, you can also do it, all right? If you, if you do it right now, uh, also thank you. Si ya lo hizo o lo está haciendo y me lo va a compartir, yo mañana me comprometo a darle respuesta a cada uno de ustedes, ¿verdad? Todavía tengo el de Mr. Edwin por ahí, que me lo mandó el fin de semana, no lo he revisado. All right, I haven't forgotten Mr. Edwin, by the way, pero estaba esperando hasta esta práctica, ¿verdad? Para ver si ya con esto, digamos, usted podía también descubrir, ah, no, aquí quizás me faltó algo, ¿verdad? Ya con el feedback que le dé mañana, usted dice, ok, ya, yeah, everything is correct. Ok. That's the idea. All right. That's the idea. All right. That's sir, I have a question. Yes, sir. Eh, el texto que vamos a mandar es referente a la imagen que tenemos ahorita, ¿verdad? El de la señorita esta, de la imagen. Correcto. Sí. Ok. Thank you. Ahorita yes, lo mando. Ya lo All terminé. Right. All right. Thank you, sir. Ok. Just one second. Okay. All right, so let's move on over here. So the topic that we have for this evening has to do with shopping online. I don't know how many of you have experienced shopping online or how many of you actually sell things online, ¿verdad? No sé cuántos tenemos experiencia comprando en línea o vendiendo en línea uh, por cuestiones de, de, de derechos de autor, ¿verdad? Y porque YouTube, YouTube eh, fiscaliza todo esto, no podemos mencionar ninguna marca, ¿verdad? Pero así como el río Amazonas, uh, you know, that's a very popular website, ¿ok? Entonces, where you can buy and sell stuff over there. New and, uh, and used stuff, ¿verdad? En el río Amazonas, para darle referencia, you know, in that website, you can um, sell and buy uh, things, right? Products in there, right? Esa es la referencia que vamos a ocupar, ¿verdad? Como the process to uh, purchase online, ¿verdad? El proceso para comprar en línea, ¿ok? This is a little bit tricky, all right? It's a little bit tricky. I'm going to help you with the first one and the last one. Le voy a ayudar con la número uno, ¿verdad? Con la primera y con la octava, ¿ok? And you do the rest over here, all right? Of course, I'm going to help you with the pronunciation of this. And then you are going to complete the rest of it. Uh, this is the beginning of unit two, which has to do with buying online or selling online, right? Con esto iniciamos oficialmente eh, la unidad dos, okay? Which has to do with, uh, que tiene que ver con comprar y vender en línea, verdad? Entonces, I'm going to help you with the first one and then you have to do the number eight. What you have to do is to put this in order, right? Vamos a poner esto en orden. In a second, I'll be giving you access to this, right? But right now, I want your full attention to the meaning, all right? The meaning and the pronunciation of uh, these, action, these actions, right? Por el momento, quisiera su atención total, por favor, o completa, de, de qué estamos hablando acá, ¿verdad? Usted lo va a poner en orden, comenzando desde el primero, okay? Right? And then you have to do the last one, which is eight. Ya le di el primero, si se fijan, ¿verdad? Con esto comenzamos. Go to oh, the online webpage. And the last one could be uh, confirm the method of, of payment, or it could be. Um, see, confirm your information with submit. Check the price, log into your account, select the items to purchase, write your billing address. Enter your credit cards information, etc. I'm going to help you with the meaning of these words, my friends. Yo le voy a ayudar con el significado, verdad, de esa frase, verdad. Cuando usted está comprando en línea, es imprescindible que usted sepa qué hacer, verdad. Dónde ingresar su tarjeta de crédito y qué lugares vamos a confiar, verdad. Este, right. Just one second. Okay. Most of you are familiar with this vocabulary, so I'm not going to give you too many details or I'm not going to spend a lot of time over here, ¿verdad? Muchos estamos familiarizados con este, con este vocabulario, 
Pero igual no está de más, ¿verdad? En clarificar y, y darles, ¿verdad? Un empujoncito, ¿verdad? Una ayuda en esto. ¿Ok? So, when you purchase online, you need to uh, go to the online website, ¿ok? Or the web page, right? If you want to buy out of a magazine or, or out of a um, certain place, ¿ok? So, um, if you want to buy out of... Um, Warehouse store, okay. Usted va a comprar una ferretería, right? Or, or, or you're going to buy from a department store or, or from other place in there. So you need to follow certain steps. Esto pasa, ustedes ya se lo saben en español, ¿verdad? Y creo que en inglés también. Así que vamos a decir qué es lo que significa cada uno. I'm going to start with this one, all right? And I'm going to point this out. No le puede dar el orden ahorita, sino que solo vamos a, a pronunciar un poquito. So, enter your credit card's information, ¿verdad? Ingrese la información de su tarjeta de crédito. Or debit card, ¿ok? En su defecto, credit card or debit card. Select the items to purchase. Select the items to purchase. Seleccione el artículo a comprar. Write your billing address. Escriba su dirección de facturación. ¿Verdad? Donde le van a mandar el recibo, ¿verdad? Confirm the method of payment. Confirme el método de pago, which is this one, right? All right. Hold on. Next, confirm your information at submit. Confirme su información, ¿verdad? Y envíe. Check the price, ¿verdad? Cerciore, se o revise el precio. Log into your account, all right? Ingrese, ¿verdad? A su cuenta. En estos lugares, you need to have already an account, right? If you don't have an account, you need, you will have to sign up. So once you signed up, you have to log in into your account. Once you're logged in into your account, you can follow these steps, which are just uh, read to you, right? Lo que hice solamente fue darle la traducción, ¿verdad? Y leer lo que está ahí. So, Now your job is to put these uh, steps in order. You're going to figure it out. Y usted, ¿verdad? Lo va a resolver eh, de acuerdo a la experiencia que tiene, ¿verdad? Comprando en línea, right? If you have some, okay? So let me just one second, please. Vamos a mandarles esta información. I will paste it in the WhatsApp right now, all right? So just one second, please. It's raining my home already, just to let you know, right? It just started raining a couple of minutes ago. And I'm sending this to you as I'm speaking, all right? Okay. Let me stop sharing this. And I'm gonna share the other website over here, okay? Just one second. Yes, more than this. All right, so there you go. So just enter your name over here and try to do this, please. Okay. So what's the name of the activity? Is the process to buy or sell something in here, right? So I'm gonna give you, let's say one minute, all right? So I'm just gonna give you one minute for you to complete this. Vamos a completarlo. Um, en un minuto, si les parece, ok. <clears throat> Hold on. And the minute starts now. Go ahead, please. All right, so I know a minute is not enough, okay? But you try to do it in one minute, please. And then we're gonna go over step by step. We will almost hacer uno por uno. Thank you. Fisher, puedo repetirlo. 
Yes, sir, you can repeat it as many times as you can. All right, that's okay. okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so time is up over here. Time is up. I'm not gonna ask anybody to complete it uh, in front of the class be because uh, I think I need to help you do this. All right. Me saqué dos. All right. I mean, not a problem. Not a problem. I mean, it was it was also difficult for me when I try to do it. To be honest with you. All right. It was also difficult. Okay. I have to I have to use a, a website to get familiar with the process of uh, purchasing something online and then try to do this. But yo lo que hice fue ocupé un una página web, verdad, de referencia, leer, verdad. Y eso es lo que vamos a, a ocupar después de esto. Esta es la teoría, verdad. Le voy a mostrar la práctica por ahí. Ahí lo tengo. La voy a ser cuidadoso de no mostrarles cuestiones de marca, pero usted va a saber exactamente a lo que yo me voy a estar refiriendo. Over there, all right? Al Rio Amazonas le voy a llamar yo, okay? <laughs> all right, good. Uh, so the first one is, who, who would like to help me with the first one over here, please? So what was the first one, please? Go to the online web page. Go to the online web page, all right? Um, all right, there you go, okay? What would be number two, please? Number two? Log into your account. All right. Log into your account. And okay. Three, please. The third one. Select the items to purchase. Select the items to purchase. Okay, it's over here. All right. Yes, continue, please. It was Mr. Oscar, right? Uh, confirm no check the price check the price correct correct let's check check the price all right yeah what else uh sir confirm your information confirm your information no 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 no, no, no. Are you sure confirm the method of payment confirm the method of payment yeah that's right uh, that's number five, fifth, all right? What's next? Uh, enter your credit card information. Enter your credit card information. Uh, write your billing address. Write your billing address, all right? Confirm your, your information and something all right okay now we're gonna include the the uh, ordinal numbers with this ahorita vamos a incluir los, num los, los números ordinales para la descripción verdad o, o los pasos a seguir you know the steps to follow so first y esto quiero que por favor verdad quisiera que lo que usted lo practicara verdad con su micrófono apagado pero digámoslo verdad so repeat after me please what i'm about to say over here not in the same speed or maybe faster or slow, uh, slower, but you try to do it. Pues vamos a hacer la práctica, verdad, de esto. Okay, so first, go to the online webpage. Second, log into your account. Third, select the items to purchase. Fourth, check the price. Fifth, confirm the method of payment. Next, uh, confirm your information and, and no, we just skipped some of them in there, right? Creo que lo puse mal los números por ahí, verdad? All right. Let's see over here. Let's see. First, go to the online. Yeah, that's the one. First, go to the online webpage. Let's do it again. Please. First, go to the online webpage. Okay. Two, log into your account. Correct. Into account. All right. Third, select the yeah. items to purchase. All right. Select the item to purchase. Fourth, check the price. All right. Or check the price. Uh, fifth, confirm the method of payment. 
All right. Uh, this one should be mistaken. All right. It's like this. I think it's that way. All right. Uh, all right. So confirm the method of payment. Six, enter your credit card's information. Seven, write your billing address. And last one, confirm your information with me. Let's see what happens over here. Okay. I'm going to get a screenshot and see if this is actually correct. All right. Just one second. All right. Okay. So that one was messed up in there, right? Uh, we have to write the billing address and then enter the credit card, right? Six out of eight in there, right? So that's what we got, right? But uh, this is the theory, right? Esta es la teoría. Vamos a ir un sit a, a un lugar por ahí, verdad? Al Amazonas, en Brasil. <laughs> and we're going to check out if these steps uh, actually match the reality, right? O si hay alguien aquí que es experto, nos puede explicar, verdad, si la billing address, verdad, o la cuestión de facturación, su dirección va antes de ingresar la credit card o se puede hacer uh, independientemente. All right? So you may say that. My experience, experience is, the, yeah. is the ending, the address. The billing address first, before the credit card. Yes. Okay. So I will say that. So what the textbook is telling us is correct. So that's what you're saying, Mr. Oscar. Because I, I got this information from the uh, Insafor manual, right? Student textbook. Okay. Eso lo que nos está tratando de decir eh, Mr. Gamero es que la información, verdad? Primero va la billing address and then the credit card. Is, is that the way it is, sir? Mr. Gamero? Yes. All right. Thank okay. you, sir. I, I'm off my microphone. Sorry. All right. That's okay. So I'm going to show you a place in here. Um, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to grade out something. Okay. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me share with you the, uh, the access to this place, please. But don't share it in your screen or, or anything more with that. Vamos a mandarles, verdad, un acceso, verdad, uh, uh, Por ahí está, vamos a ver. No, vamos a ver. that one, no. I'll send you the, the, uh, the, uh, the address, okay? Vamos a enviarles la dirección por acá. Let me just one second, please. Hold on. All right, so I want you to open it up, please. Open that up, please. Thank you. I will also do the same over here, right? I will also do the same, but I'm going to erase something in here. Okay. All right, so right now let's get familiar with that uh, place, okay? And then I'll be sharing with you the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, all the information, right? All the information in there. Hold on, please. Tengo que borrar, ¿verdad? Algunas cuestiones por acá. Entonces, por eso no, no, les, no les comparto la pantalla. Y si lo comparto, me arriesgo demasiado. Okay, just one second over here. Okay, continue with this. Hold on. So get familiar with the parts over there please, that I just shared with you, all right? Hold on. Espero que estemos leyendo, ¿verdad? La cuestión del, 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 
que les compartí, ¿verdad? Entonces yo estaba sacando un par de, de capturas de pantallas para que sí ya todos miremos, ¿verdad? La cuestión que les voy a compartir. Permítanme. Yeah, I think we're good. All right. All right, so hopefully you're gonna be able to see the screen I'm um, seeing in here. All right, so the name of the article that, that I got is online shopping. Uh, this is online shopping provides people with useful techniques and advantages, but also causes doubt in the sense of like stealing your information with your credit card, right? So the basic steps to online shopping, okay? Number one, Find the websites of your choosing, all right? Elija los sitios web de su elección. Number two, right? O de, de su preferencia, perdón. Eh, step, number, step number two, find the items you choose to buy and click up to cart, ¿verdad? Elija los artículos que usted desea comprar, ¿verdad? Y dele agregar a la carretilla, right? Up to cart, okay? And then you, you, you change the quantity, right? Or the quantity of the core, you can change number to two items, three items, four items, right? Okay. And that's the first stop, right? Second stop in there, right? As you can see in here. I'm sorry, the third stop, the step. Once all things are added to core, click on view core and proceed to check out. You see how much is this? Uh, customer buying it says add 37.1 of eligible items to your order to qualify for free shipping it says so total it's only one item 11.99 dollars proceed to checkout or sign in to turn on one click ordering right it's asking you to do something so and it's telling you the shipping and taxes in there right step number four sign up for an account to make future purchases easy or enter as a guest so in real life uh the website is going to give you the the uh choice to buy as a guest or buy as a uh, as a user right but if i were you i would just log in into your account you know for protection for security purposes lo ideal es que usted tenga una cuenta verdad y, e ingrese perdón verdad porque ahí hay recos no lo compra verdad uh, como invitado pueden abrir, o sea, por cuestiones de reclamos no la va a poder hacer. Ahí está, mire, sign in. And then it's, it's asking you, right, uh, what to do, right? What to do after that, okay? Um, let me show you another one over here. One second. And the step number five is, Filling payment methods, usually PayPal or just enter credit card, right? More payment options, credit or debit cards, and then you have the options over here, right? And then credit or debit cards, uh, and then it tells you it affects a gift card. Step number six, select how you, you like to ship your items, choose a delivery option, uh, and then it's telling you many things so on Saturday, uh, Wednesday, Saturday, Friday, And finally, you have to place the order, ¿verdad? Entonces, usted va a colocar la orden. Place your order, and then you continue, All right? I don't know if you noticed, but in here, it didn't ask you for your uh, billing address. ¿Por qué no hemos pedido la, 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 la dirección de facturación? Porque se supone que usted ya tiene una cuenta, y cuando usted crea la cuenta de una sola vez, usted ingresa esa información, ¿verdad? Entonces, no tiene que estar confirmando eso. Solo lo que les interesa a ellos, ¿qué? One time you do that, and then the next time you just purchase. La siguiente vez, la siguiente vez usted solamente compra. All right? That's what you do over there. So in real life, uh, we can skip some steps, right? And then go back to the other step, ¿verdad? Nos saltamos algunos pasos y verificamos. But what matters the most is the price, all right? And the method of payment, right? Lo que interesa es cuando usted ingresa su tarjeta de crédito o de débito. We have to be careful with that, right? All right? There you go. You may save the website order just to practice the vocabulary, okay? Just to practice the vocabulary. And 
let's start working in the in the grammar that we have for this class. All right, let's start working in the in no no no. Let's do something else. Let's do some practice about uh, pronunciation. Okay. Just one second, please. Vamos a hacer una práctica, verdad, de conversación. Permítanme. All right. I'm getting the information over here. Okay. Para que no durmamos, verdad, y también es parte de todo esto. We're going to complete this. I think we did this listening once, long time ago. But right now it's, it's related to buying something using a student credit card. Okay. Quizás nunca hemos hecho este, este, este listening, verdad? I think we have never done it, right? But we're going to try to practice in there, okay? I'm going to share the screen for you right now, my friends. Okay, just one moment, please. So it's time for us to practice, you know, in a conversation form, all right? Vamos a practicar, verdad, conversación. And as you can see over here, the name of the listening is student credit card. All right, it's a student credit card. Okay, uh, let's just scroll down in here. I'm gonna erase this. And so we have a listening, all right? Hold on, please. So I want you to open the listening, uh, my friends. Just one second, please. Les pido de favor, verdad, que, que eh, ingresemos al, a la dirección, verdad, que les compartí, por favor. Ok. Just one moment, please. Let me share the screen over here. All right, there you go. <clears throat> Student credit cards are becoming more and more popular and a number of websites can provide information on comparing your auctions. With these ideas in mind, what are the advantages and disadvantages of using credit cards, particularly for people your age and in a similar financial situation? Prácticamente le dice que el uso de, de tarjetas de crédito o de débito, verdad, se ha vuelto popular. And it's asking you the advantages or disadvantages, right? Está, está consultando la verdad cuáles son las ventajas o las desventajas. Right? So this is the introduction. Uh, we have this word. We have do. Informal for money. ¿verdad? Cuando ocupamos esta frase do. Es bien informal. ¿verdad? Estamos hablando la papa, la que es, dice la gente, el dinero, el bullullo, cuestiones así. ¿verdad? Les menciono esas palabras ¿verdad? porque esa es la traducción literal de esto. All right. So I need more da to, to pay off my credit card bill, ¿verdad? Necesita más dinero, más efectivo, okay? Eh, have money to burn, cuando dice la gente, ¿verdad? Tengo estos cinco dólares para hacer los pedazos. Así es la frase que está ahí, okay? Don't be that type of person, but sometimes, you know, we regret, all right? Para malgastarlos o para gastarlos. Mira esta frase que está acá. Have money to burn, ¿verdad? Tener, no sé, suficiente dinero, ¿verdad? Que hasta lo desperdice, según esto. Sarah's dad always gives her a big allowance, so she has money to burn. Si usted le da mesada, ¿verdad? O sea, o cuando usted iba al colegio, le daban su 25 centavos de colón, su 50 centavos de colón, o, o usted le da a sus hijos, ¿verdad? Para que iban al colegio, un dólar, 50 centavos. Esa es la famosa mesada, ¿ok? Allowance. Allowance, all right? That is the allowance over there, this one. So what you're going to do individually, you're going to listen to this uh, conversation and then complete the test. Once you finish, share with me the results, your score in the chat, right? In the uh, class chat, ¿verdad? Cuando usted complete esto, lo va, me lo comparte, por favor, en el chat grupal, all right? Please. Just one moment, please. Let me go over, let me go over the, the information over here. But vamos a repasar brevemente de qué se trata este auto. But I need a volunteer, please, that could help me read. ¿Verdad? Necesito un voluntario para que esto no sea un monólogo. Okay, please. Can I have a volunteer, please, that can help us read 
through the uh, questions and also the options in there, please. Thank you, Flor. I appreciate your help. All right. Thank you. And then, Miss Miss uh, uh, Flor, help us with one, two, and one, two, and three, please. Thank okay. You. Thank you. Okay. Then the woman got a credit card because she she want to build to build a good credit rating. She wants to buy things at discount. Discount. Mm -hmm. She wants to borrow money from family. Okay. The woman didn't buy a digital camera, a stereo, a TV. Okay, let's see. The man? The man says that a problem with credit card is that interest rated as often very high. Uh -huh. They can be used in our countries. Okay. It can lead to internet fraud. Okay. And let's see how many. One, two, three. All right. Thank you, Ms. Uh, Ms. Susana, please. Hernandez, would you help us? Because you raised your hand. Thank you. Okay. The credit card, card limit on the woman card is about. Um, ¿Cómo sería ahí? 20,000. 20,000 dollars. 12,000 dollars. Uh -huh. um, 18 dollars. Uh -huh, 18,000. 18,000 dollars. 21,000 dollars. Correct. The man suggests that the woman share her credit card, pay off her debit with birthday money, come up a financial management plan. Okay, thank you so much. Shred means destrozar, verdad? Hacer pedazos. Eh, algo. Triturar. That's shred. That's the meaning of shred over there. Okay, so that's what you have in there. Uh, listen to this one or two times and then share with me your score. Once you finish uh, with this quiz, we're going to practice the conversation and pronunciation, verdad? Practicamos, verdad, en tres minutos, dos minutos y medio, I'm two minutes and a half. I'm going to share this with you, all right? Uh, hold on, please. You have two minutes and a half to complete that, please. Thank you. There you go. If you don't mind. Okay, so 30 more seconds, please. 30 more seconds. Thank you. Thank you. 
All right, so time is up. Yeah, time is up, okay. Let's go over, let's go over the, um, the quiz in there, right? All right, sorry about it. Hold on, let me just define the screen again. All right, so can I have a volunteer please that can help me uh, do number one and then another student with number two and number three and so on, please. Que sea un voluntario por cada pregunta, por favor. Or this time I think I'm gonna choose, all right? This time I'm going to choose, if you don't mind, please. Vamos a elegir verdad personas al azar, participantes al azar para que me ayuden a completar la actividad. If you don't mind, please. All right. So the first one I have over here that will be Miss Anayansi Rivas, please. Can you help us with the first one? And I'm going to ask you. So the woman got a credit card because she. El propósito de por qué ella adquirió una, una tarjeta de crédito, ¿verdad? Para estudiante, Ana Yance. If you would like to help us, please. En la... Esa, this... She wants to build a good credit rating. Okay, she wants to build a good credit rating. Let's see. Yeah, you're right. Correct. Right. Oh, that was good. Thank you so much. Right. And I'm going to choose the next uh, participant right now. Uh, Mr. Nelson Hernandez, please. Can you help us, sir? With number two, if I'm not mistaken, I'm in there, right? Number two. Yes, the woman. It's a digital camera. A digital camera. Buy a digital camera. A digital camera in there. All right. Thank you, sir. And number three, it's going to be uh, Miss Vanessa Segura, please. The man says that a problem with credit cards is that. Miss Vanessa? Yes, uh, interest rate are often very high. Yeah, everybody knows about that, right? Correct. Thank you. And let's see, next student who's gonna help us is uh, Mr. Caesar, sir. Can you help us please with this one? The credit card limit is uh, 20 husband dollar. $20,000. Thousand dollars. $20,000 right? Oh, no. Okay. It's $18,000, right? All right. $18,000, all right? Okay. Yes. All right. Un pequeño, pequeño faltante, ¿verdad? <laughs> all right. There's, that's what you have. Okay. Thank you, sir. And let's see. Um, I think this is the last one, if I'm not mistaken. And the last participant is going to be a gentleman. Uh, if you don't mind, uh, let's see, Mr. Mr. Miguel Jimenez, please help us. Sir. No. Uh, the message yeah. here is that the woman uh, come up a financial management plan. Yeah. She should look for help, right? <laughs> All right, it happens. Nice, very good, okay? Now I want you to go to the uh, script if you haven't. All right, and let's take a look at the script over there, please. All right, now this exercise was not very easy. If you got three out of five, four out of five, it's okay. So I'm gonna share with you the uh, 
the script. So click on that one, please, and just take a look at my screen, please. Voy a compartir, ¿verdad? La, la cuestión del vocabulario. I'm sorry, the conversation, right? Itself. Vamos a compartir la cuestión de la conversación in a second right now. And there we go. There you have it. Okay, so I'm sharing the screen again. There you go. And as you can see here, so it's a general listening quiz, a student credit card script. And this is the script, all right? Let me go full screen. What I'm gonna do for you, I will play the audio and you just read along the text, ¿verdad? Voy a reproducir el, el audio y usted lee, ¿verdad? Con el texto, ¿verdad? Eh, escuche. Y lea, por favor. All right? So, listen. Listen up and read, please. Just one second, please, over here. On the count of three. Uh, one, two, three. Hi, sis. I just came over to... Ah, I'm sorry. I want to double check if I'm sharing with you the audio. Vamos a asesorarnos de que les comparto el audio correctamente. One moment, please. Yeah, now. I'm ready now. Listen up, please. Hi, sis. I just came over to drop off the DVDs you wanted, and... Hey, wow. Where did you get all this stuff? I bought it. So what do you think of my new entertainment center? And the widescreen TV? Bought it? And my new DVD player. Here, let me show you my stereo. You can really rock the house with this one. But where did you get the dough to buy all this? You didn't borrow money from mom and dad again, did you? Of course not. I got it with this. This? Let me see that. Have you been using Dad's credit card again? No, silly. It's mine. It's a student credit card. A student credit card? How in the world did you get one of these? I got an application in the mail. Well, why did you get one in the first place? Listen, times are changing, and having a credit card helps you build a credit rating, control spending, and even buy things that you can't pay with cash, like the plane ticket I got recently. What plane ticket? Oh yeah, my roommate and I are going to Hawaii over the school break, and of course I need some new clothes for that, so... I don't want to hear it. How does having a student credit card control spending? It sounds like you've spent yourself into a hole. Anyway, student credit cards just lead to impulse spending, as I can see here. And the interest rates of student credit cards are usually sky high. And if you miss a payment, the rates will just jump. The credit card has a credit limit. Of $20,000? No, not quite that high. Anyway. I've heard enough. Did I tell you we now get digital cable with over 100 channels? Mm -hmm. Oh, and here's your birthday present, a new MP3 player. Yeah. No, don't tell me. Charged on the credit card. Listen. Hey, I don't think having a student credit card is a bad idea, but this is ridiculous. And how in the world are you going to pay off your credit card bill? Uh, with my birthday money? It's coming up in a week. Hey, let's sit down and talk about how you're going to pay things back. And maybe we can come up with a budget that will help you get out of this mess. That's the least I can do. All right, so the girl didn't sound that worried about this, but once you start messing up with credit cards, that's a, a, a big deal, right? Question de las tarjetas de créditos is very complicated, right? Credit cards are very complicated, okay? And tricky in there. Before I send you to practice to the breaker room, eh, I'm going to try to model this uh, uh, conversation, all right? Because I think it's important for you to actually have extra practice. And you may ask about the vocabulary. So this is the perfect opportunity for you to ask me about the vocabulary. ¿Verdad? En este momento eh, preferiría si ustedes tienen alguna consulta, vocabulario, algo, ¿verdad? Que necesita aclaración. Es el momento perfecto para que usted haga las preguntas, ¿verdad? Entonces, you may ask questions right now, please, about this. Uh, I will uh, practice the conversation for, uh, for you. Okay. Yes, if you have any questions, you may open your microphone, all right? Okay. All right, so you see in here, he uses sis because that's the uh, short form for sister, ¿verdad? Sis es la parte corta para hermano. 
I just came over to drop off the DVDs you wanted, ¿verdad? Solamente me detuve, ¿verdad? Pasé por acá, pasando iba, para dejarte drop off, es como dejarte uh, the DVDs you wanted. And hey, wow, where did you get all of this stuff, ¿verdad? ¿Dónde conseguiste todas estas cosas, verdad? Esta palabra stuff es la famosísima palabra, ¿verdad? Que ocupamos nosotros a veces para decir cosas, ¿verdad? Volado. Okay. Stuff right here. That's the word, all right? That's the equivalent, ¿verdad? Stuff. Usted dice, yo tengo muchas cosas que hacer. I have so many stuff to do, all right? Many stuff. Tengo muchas cosas en mi cuarto. I have many stuff in my room. Tiene muchas cosas en su... Tiene usted muchas, uh, no sé, uh, preocupaciones en su, en su mente, en su cabeza. I have many stuff in my head, ¿verdad? And that's what you said. Eh... Continua. I bought it. So what do you think of my new entertainment center and the widescreen TV? Bought it. La compré, ¿verdad? Compré una pantalla plana. Uh, and my new DVD player here. Let me show you my story. You can re uh, really lock the house with this one, ¿verdad? Compró DVD, compró, ¿verdad? El equipo de sonido, ¿verdad? Que sacude la casa. Where did you get the dog to buy all these? You didn't borrow money from mom and dad again, did you? ¿Verdad? ¿Dónde sacó el dinero? Okay, le dice, no, no, no le prestaste a mamá y papá. Borrow, ¿verdad? Cuando usted borrow, okay, you didn't borrow money from. Prestar dinero de. Borrow money from. Of course not. I got it with this. Y ahí le muestra la tarjeta de crédito. This, esto, this, this. Esta palabra es un, es un pronombre demostrativo, ¿verdad? Entonces, cuando usted ocupa esto, it's only one thing, right? This. This es una sola cosa, ¿verdad? Y es, está cercano, ¿verdad? O usted lo está sosteniendo. This. Say this. All right. Let me see. Déjeme ver. O deja, déjame ver. Have you, have you been using that credit card again, ¿verdad? ¿Has estado usando la tarjeta de crédito de papá? No, Silly. No seas tonto. It's mine. It's a student credit card, ¿verdad? Es mía, ¿verdad? Es una tarjeta de crédito para estudiante. All right. And a student credit card, how in the world did you get one of these, verdad? ¿Cómo se supone, verdad, que obtuviste una de estas, te dieron una de esas tarjetas? I got an application in the mail, verdad, recibí una solicitud, verdad? Application significa solicitud, right? Well, why did you get one in, in the first place, verdad? Pero, ¿para qué te dieron una? Pues en primer lugar. Listen, escucha. Times are changing and having a credit card helps you build a credit rating, ¿verdad? Los tiempos cambian, ¿verdad? Y tener una tarjeta de crédito lo sirve a subir, ¿verdad? La cuestión de su uh, récord crediticio, ¿verdad? O su, como su, su calificación. Control spending and even buy things that you can pay with cash, ¿verdad? Controlar, ¿verdad? Sus gastos, spending, son gastos. And even buy things that you can pay with cash, ¿verdad? Y aún, even... Comprar cosas que no se pueden comprar con efectivo. Like the plane ticket I got recently, ¿verdad? Compró un boleto de avión. <laughs> She bought everything over there, right? <laughs> okay. What plane ticket, ¿verdad? Entonces, my roommate and I are going to Hawaii over the school break, ¿verdad? School break, ¿verdad? Aquí en El Salvador nosotros tenemos Semana Santa, ¿verdad? O la semana de, de agosto. Es un break, ¿verdad? Que tenemos. Que un descanso. And of course, I needed some of the new clothes for that. So, ¿verdad? Compró ropa incluida para irse a Hawaii. I, th I don't want to hear it. Okay. And then you continue with it, right? With this uh, things in there. Then she has an impulse. Que tiene un impulso en gastar las cosas. Y los, the interest rates are sky high, ¿verdad? Son bien altos. Si algo es bien caro, es sky high, ¿verdad? Están por los cielos. Okay. Cuando usted dice, well, esto, esto está bien reventado. Dice la gente, ¿verdad? Así vulgarmente o colocal, coloquialmente. Sky high, all right? And the limit in every there, right? Basicamente, that's, that's the, the, the idea in there. Any questions for me before I send you to practice? Alguna consulta? No? Okay. Let's see. So I'm going to open the rooms in there, please, and, and please uh, join them, all right? Join the rooms. Go ahead. Practice at least one time. And if you have time, practice 10 times. I mean, sorry, two times. <laughs> All right. 
We're gonna practice for 10 minutes, my friend, for 10 minutes. That's the most, all right? En el, la segu, en el segundo enlace que mandó, ahí está. Segundo. Uh -huh, en el segundo. Ah, ok. No lo encontraba. Hello, teacher. Ah, hoy sí, hoy sí. Ok. Hello, hello. Vamos una línea cada uno. Ok. Yeah, Yes. Please. Okay. Start. Okay. Empiezo yo. Okay. Okay. Hi, sis. I just came over to drop of the DVDs you wanted. Um. Hey. Wow. Where did you get up to get up out of this stuff? Okay. Uh. Bought it. ¿Puede ayudarme con esa palabra? Yeah, I bought it, bought it, bought it. I bought it, mm -hmm. I bought it. So, what do, you, uh, what do you think of my new entertainment center and the white screen TV? Mm -hmm. Francisco? Yes, and white screen. Cada uno va a Ah, bueno, muy bien. Bought it. And my new DVD player here. Here. Let me show you my stereo. Stereo. You can really rock the house with this one. But what did you get the dough to buy all this? You didn't borrow money from mom and dad again, did you? Of course not, I got it with this. <laughs> this, let me see that. Like How you been using that credit card again? No, see, it's mine. And buy things that you can pay with cash, like like the plane ticket I got recently. What a plane ticket! Oh yeah, my room, roommate and I are going to Hawaii over the school break, and of course I needed some new clothes for that song. I don't want to hear this. I don't want to hear it. How does having a student credit card control spending? It sounds like you have spent yourself of in a hole anyway. Think that you can pay with cash, like the plan ticket I go, I got recently. No sé cómo se dice recently. Recent. Recently. Recent. Recently. Recently. Recent. Recently. Recently. Okay. What plane tickets? Oh, yeah. My roommates and I are going to Hawaii over the school break. And of course, I need some new clothes for that soon. I don't want to hear it. Who does having a student credit card control spending? It sounds like you spend yourself in the alone. Mm -hmm. Anyway, a student mm -hmm. hall. Yes. Anyway, a student credit card use lead. Want to end? 
Hey, wow, where did you get all of this stuff? I bought it. So what do you think of my new entertainment center and the with the screen TV? Brody? And my new DVD player. He let he let me show you my stereo. You can really rock the use with this one. But where did you get the dog to buy all this? You didn't borrow money from mom and that game did you of course not i got it i got it with this this let me see that have you been using that credit card again but where did you get the dog to buy all this you didn't borrow money from mom and dad again did you of, of course not i got it with theirs let me see that. Have you been using that credit card again? No, silly. It's mine. It's a student credit card. A student credit card? How in the world did you get on um, of this? No, no he fiado. Charro que ya cayó la guardia. Charro que cayó la migra. Ya cayó la migra. Yo ahorita. <risa> son los últimos, no se me libraron mm, yo dije hoy sí ya nos escapamos pero no <risa> Eli y si cambiamos en esta ocasión usted me okay. y a mí ni modo yo voy a hacer la contraparte <risa> digo porque ya hizo ya hizo, ya hizo woman entonces uh -huh. y en la siguiente se alterna con Nelson ¿verdad Tisha? yes sir yeah. ok ahora usted man uh, and me woman <risa> Yeah, we have mm -hmm. still two minutes and, and a half. Todavía nos quedan dos y medio casi. Okay. Yep. Okay, la mitad alcanzaremos entonces. Yes. No problem. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Yes. Do you start early? Hi. Hi. Since I just come over to drop off the DVDs, you want to what? You want you want you wanted. And hey, who? Where did you get all of this? Of two. Mm -hmm. I bought it. Did you? Yes, sir. Bought it. Correct. I bought, bought it. it. Okay. I bought it. So, what do you think of my new entertainment center? Mm -hmm. And do you with the screen TV? Ah, white screen. White screen. White pantalla, screen. Pantalla plana, digamos, o ancha, es literal ahí, pero es pantalla plana. White screen. Okay. Thank you. Okay. White screen. I bought it. TV. Bought it. Mm -hmm. And my new DVD player. Here, let me show you my stereo. You can really rock the house with this one. Pobre gecko, but. <laughs> <laughs> but where? But okay. where did you get the dough to buy at this Judin? Borrow money from mom, and that again did you? Of course not. Come uh, up. Yet. <laughs> no, hello. Will he help? Will he get out of this mess? That's the less I can do. Así es la última parte. ¿Cómo es esa? ¿Cuál? ¿Esta do? parte? Esa parte, ajá. No, that's the least that's I can do. That's the least I can do. That's the least I can ah, do, yes. That's ah. the least. I can do, okay. Teacher, y esta palabra es como... Ridiculous. Ah, Harry Potter. Ridiculous. 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 Esto es ridículo. Fíjese que los, los eh, estadounidenses ocupan eso cuando le queda mal a alguien, le dicen, ah, that's ridiculous, ¿verdad? Así como que es eh, absurdo lo ocupan. Como que es absurdo lo ocupan. Y también lo ocupo para algo que no tiene sentido, ¿verdad? You're ridiculous, ¿verdad? Ridiculous. 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 Right? ridiculous. Uh -huh. Es que no lo podíamos pronunciar. Ridiculous. Es que no lo ah, podíamos pronunciar, así ah. que le dije ridiculous. <laughs> All right. Casi Bye. igualito. <laughs> All right, so welcome back, everyone. Uh, that was a very long 
conversation, right? That's, that's a long conversation in there, right? Yeah, I was able to see that. So that's why we're not gonna practice uh, this in front of the class because there's a, one last activity that I want you to practice with me, please, in here. And it has to do with something called demonstrative pronouns, please. I want you to, to write this down, please. Pronombres demonstrativo, please. The most demonstrative pronouns. And what are those those words? This, that, these, and those. Save them, please. ¿verdad? Pongamos la atención a esas palabritas, ¿verdad? ¿Cuáles son? This, these, that, and those. All right? Now, take a look at my expression, you know? This is a bottle of water, right? These are bottle of water I and mean, bottles of water, okay? That is um, that is a painting, verdad? Esa es una pintura, okay? Those are paintings, all right? El contexto le va a decir, verdad? Which one is singular, which one is plural? Okay. As this has to do with how close or how far something is. Si algo está cerca, ¿verdad? O usted lo tiene prácticamente tocando o lo tiene señalando, ¿verdad? Pero está a una distancia prudente de usted o lo tiene en sus manos. If you're holding something in your hand, right? Like right now, I'm holding this bottle, all right? So this is my water, right? Porque está, está, está identificando algo in there, right? This is the English class, right? Okay? O el famosa, la famosa película, ¿verdad? This is Sparta, right? <laughs> from that movie right? a very epic movie right if you if you watch that movie so you may you may know the reference over there right so it's demonstrating something right it's demonstrating something in there so if something is close to you or near you you have to use this and if it's let's see more than one thing you have to use these verdad El, esta palabra these Si se fija, ¿verdad? Cuesta un poquito hacerlo porque es como... Zzzz, como cuando están soldando algo, ¿verdad? El sonido. Zzzz, this. This. Como con una I bien pequeña. This. This computer. This cell phone. That kit. That left. All right. Uh, these shoes. Uh, these credit cards. Those cards those products. Las oraciones que tengo acá todas son plurales, all right? This means esto o esto o esta, right? And these means eh, estos, all right? O estas. Si usted tiene esta, alguna cosa a su alcance, va a ocupar, ¿verdad? Las palabras de la primera línea, ¿verdad? This for singular and these for plural. One more time. Si usted tiene algo a su alcance o lo tiene, ¿verdad? Uh, en sus manos, va a ocupar this, si es solamente un objeto, and these con E, ¿verdad? Si son varios objetos. Si usted los tiene en sus manos. ¿Ok? That is for something that you're pointing out, ¿verdad? That is para algo que usted está señalando, ¿verdad? But it's only one thing. That thing, right? Eso, ¿verdad? O esa cosa. Right? Those, esos. Those cores, right? They purchased those cards in there. Okay. Um, do you have any questions about this, right? About these words? I don't know if you noticed, but throughout the conversation, uh, they use these words very often, ¿verdad? En la conversación, ¿verdad? Ocuparon eso. Yo creo que vamos, vamos a hacer como esa práctica eh, explícita, ¿verdad? Creo que así sería la palabra. De identificar, ¿verdad? Aquí, ¿verdad? Eh, solamente vamos a ir leyendo poquito a poco y a, a ver si encontramos la palabra this, de esto, o this, or that, or those over here. You see this one? This is a stuff. Yeah. This is stuff. This is stuff, correct. This is stuff, ¿verdad? Esta, estas cosas, ¿verdad? ¿verdad? Lo que pasa es que this is stuff, stuff es una palabra eh, incontable, ¿verdad? Que significa, el equivalente les decía es cuando nosotros decimos volado. O volados, all right? Cosos, cosas. 
this stuff, all right? It, this one, okay? This one, ¿verdad? ¿Con qué? With the stereo, all right? Where did you buy all of this? ¿Por dónde compraste todo esto? This, all right? Uh, let's continue. I got it with this. ¿A qué hace referencia el this? El this aquí, ¿verdad? Que dice, of course not. I got it with this. ¿A qué hace referencia? What's the reference over there? The credit card. With the credit card. Correct, sir. It's with the credit card. That's right. And then let's see. Uh, no, see, the student credit card. Did you get one of these? You see? One of these. All right. ¿Cómo, verdad? Cabe, ¿En dónde cabe, verdad? Que obtuviste uno de estos. La tarjeta de crédito. These. All right. Okay, now you see my point in there, right? I think you, you all see my point in there, okay? Now there comes the, uh, the time for us to practice, all right? And have a, an interesting activity for you to practice, all right? If I think that's, that's the case over here. Espero que la siguiente actividad nos parezca entretenida. So allow me just one second over here. You don't have to complete everything, by the way, but most of the exercise is in there, yes, right? No tiene que hacer toda la práctica de los ejercicios, ¿verdad? That's not really necessary. But uh, this has to do with tools, ports, worship. All right? Lo vamos a hacer con, con, con herramientas, ¿verdad? Que usted tiene. All right? To repair stuff. And that's the one. Oh, ¿verdad? Okay. Just one second, please. I'm going to send this to the chat in Zoom, right? Vamos a enviarlo al, al chat de Zoom, okay? Esta, este, el, el, el acceso a esto, okay? Just one second, please. All right, try to see if you came up in this app, please. All right, let me know, please. All right, I send this to the chat uh, uh, in Zoom, okay? And I'll be sharing the screen with you in a second. So let me just one moment, please. And here we go, all right? Read through the instructions. Of course, you're not gonna finish this, but for this class, we're gonna learn the names of, of these tools, ¿verdad? Por lo menos en esta clase nos vamos a familiarizar, ¿verdad? Con eh, la traducción, ¿verdad? De todas estas herramientas, ¿verdad? ¿Ok? ¿Qué tenemos por ahí? ¿All right? Eh, eh, ahora sí ya va a saber usted cuando, cómo se dice tuerca, if you don't know, right? Cómo se dice arandela, ¿all right? Tornillo, ¿ok? If you don't know, how do you say that? And that's the one you have in there. And we have here a translation. It says, for the first sentence, ¿ok? The first sentence is in negative, right? As you can see here, right? The first sentence is in negative. The second one is affirmative or in positive. All right. First of all, you have to say what the first, the item is not. And then you have to correct it, right? Saying what it is. You have to look at the translation model. Like for example, over here. Tenemos bolts. Bolts means pernos. Bolts, right? Bolts, right? Bolts. This one, nails. Nails significan uñas, all right? Pero también significa clavo, okay? Your nails in there. Knots, all right? Knots in there, tuercas, okay? Tuercas. Screw, okay? Screw, tornillo, ¿verdad? Y también significa arruinar algo. Screw, screw. Screwdriver, ¿verdad? Es el desarmador o el destornillador. Creo que no sé cuál de las dos es la correcta. Spanner, spanner es esta llave, ¿verdad? Está ahí. That's the spanner, right? Esta llave. Staple, staple, right? Grapa, staple, right? Staple. Washer. Or watchers son las arandelas. Por eso es que me acuerdo que mi papá me decía, pasame la guacha, ¿verdad? When he fixed the car. Porque ahí viene la palabra, ¿verdad? Washer, right? It's washer in there, arandela, 
right? Yo creí que eran dos cosas distintas, fíjense, pero en realidad es la misma cosa, ¿verdad? Arandela es en español, en washer es en English. Pero como nosotros distorsionamos de repente las palabras, decimos guacha. ¿Ya han escuchado esa palabra? Una guacha. That's why, all right? So that's why. Ahora sabemos por qué. <laughs> okay. That's interesting to know. I mean, that's interesting for me, right? So since the class is over, no vamos a, vamos a dejarlo, ¿verdad? Con esta... Eh, espinita por acá o con estas herramientas I would say with these tools eh, and practice, basically what you have is eh, digamos que estas son las tuercas ¿verdad? Lo, lo más normal ¿verdad? nuts in here ¿verdad? nuts in here nuts right? eh, aquí le dice ¿verdad? lo que no es y usted tiene que elegir si es this or this or, or this art o lo que sea acá ¿verdad? permítame I'm gonna make this screen bigger Uh, desgraciadamente, ¿verdad? La, las opciones que están ahí no se pueden hacer más grandes, ¿verdad? Pero, uh, you, you see what I'm saying, mother. You, usted va a decir, ¿verdad? These aren't washers, ¿verdad? No son arandelas. ¿Por qué? Bueno, why? Because these are nuts in there, right? One more time. One more time. Vamos a, a, a decirle la traducción. Bolts, pernos, nails, clavos. Nuts, tuercas, screw, tornillo, screwdriver, desarmador o destornillador, eh, spanner, es esta llave, eh, staple, eh, grapa, and washer, arandela. As you can see in there, right? Okay. So we're done for, for uh, this evening. Eh, Le dejo el vocabulario because tomorrow that's the first thing that we're going to be working on, right? El día de mañana, primero Dios, va a ser el primer ejercicio que vamos a hacer. Para practicar los demonstrative, this, this, that, and those. And this evening, if Miss uh, Portillo can stay for the class, please, All right? You let me know, please. The rest, have a great night and have a great week as well, too. Okay? Thank you. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. See you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. See you tomorrow, Mr. Tony. Right? <laughs> teacher, I have a question. Yes. Yeah. En la imagen que acabo de mandar, solo íbamos a resolver esa, esa, ese pedacito que está ahí o yes. toda la. Ah, okay. But we'll do it tomorrow, right? Usted lo puede hacer, ¿verdad? Pero mañana nos encargamos también. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Bye, Mr. Luis. All right, so here we go. All right. Ya se fueron todos. Ya después de esa celebración del FAS, ya no quedan energías. Cansado. Sí, sí, hoy me tocó sí. también pesado a mí. Ya era. Ya me estaba durmiendo. No, lo que más me mata es el dolor. Ah. O estar mucho tiempo sentado. Eso le iba a decir. Yo no un aguanto estar Un mes sentado. me han dejado. Un mes. Un mes me han dejado en los ejercicios. No, no puedo estar mucho tiempo ni sentada, ni parada. De, porque sí, no aguanto. Y así está trabajando. Así estoy yendo a trabajar. Híjole. Sí. No le Por rato me acuesto ahí en el canapé. <risa> Do, tres días estuve. Uh -huh. Solo tres no fui días. tres días. Porque no podía, pero ni un paso podía pegar. Nada, ni con bastón. ¿Y eso es una lesión que tiene o es, o es, o es algo de, de...? Fíjese de que yo ya tengo una lesión en el coxis, uh -huh. pero el problema es que mucho peso estaba levantando. Ah, por lo del gym. Sí, sí. me desgarré el músculo, el ligamento de la cadera y se me inflamó el nervio asiático porque la cadera se me desvió. Híjole, o sea, el nervio ciático es el que es el... Okay. El que va toda la pierna atrás, la que pierna. es el pie. Uh -huh. sí. Y es ah, el que pero... le está molestando. Y se me molesta. Dicen que, se bueno, me... usted va a que, que, que le duele feo eso. ¿verdad? <ríe> Ni tiene idea del dolor. ¿Y, que son, y son piquetes o es un dolorcito ahí? O de, como, como decimos eh, nosotros, eh. así como... Trabones, decimos. Sí, así y se va por toda la pierna, para abajo, hasta el pie. Sí. Y sabe cómo siento aquí en la pierna, en la parte uh -huh. posterior, como cuando le da un calambre a uno. Ah, y después le queda el dolor, uh -huh. así, así. Híjole. 
cuando camino, ay, oh. horrible el dolor. Mire, cuando está usted con, no sé si trabaja con pacientes, pero de repente siente el dolor, usted con respirar hondo. Y eso, y no estar, no puede aturrar la cara aún. Ajá, verdad, es como que... <risa> <risa> Ay, sí, qué terrible. Sí, qué terrible, la terrible. Verdad. Y cuando me levanto de, de estar sentada, no me puede enderezar de un, de un solo. De una sola. Bueno, toda pucha, tengo que estar un ratito para irme enderezando. Ya sí, el viernes sí. es supuestamente la última sesión que tengo de la terapia, pero no creo. No, ¿verdad? Y no Así ha sentido estoy... mejor o algo. Sí, sí. Pero no como yo esperaba. Uh -huh, uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Y a o sea la lesión es bastante. Gustado. La lesión está bastante. Sí. Severa, ¿verdad? Sí, la verdad que sí. sí. Necesita. Ya. Peor que como pasas, o sea, de ninguna forma, ¿verdad? Eso es horrible ese dolor. Sí, mi esposa ¿Sí? dice que de repente le duele porque ella está embarazada. Y de, repente, Ay, ajá, y de repente dice que cabal, ¿verdad? Siente así, de repente no se puede dar vuelta para un lado porque así, uh -huh. jabón, así ¿verdad? Lo que pasa es que como en el embarazo la pelvis se va separando, uh -huh. la cadera, uh -huh. Uh -huh. para dar el espacio al cuarto. Uh -huh. Entonces, cuando la cadera se separa, mueve los ligamentos, el nervio y todo eso. La que eso es un milagro, la verdad, eso, ¿verdad? Es de eso. Sí, sí. Pero bueno, de todas formas ahí tengo que hacerlo. Uh -huh. <ríe> y el problema es que como yo estoy acostumbrada a andar en tacones. Ah, y yo ahorita uh -huh. no puedo usar tacones. Y, es un y también le duele, le duele, ¿verdad? La espalda, porque como ando con zapato pacho, uno uh -huh. con el zapato pacho se hace así, va. Sí. Uh -huh. Se agacha. Y, y también cansa bastante lo, 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 la planta de los pies, pero duelen, ¿verdad? Y todo las eso. piernas duelen. Las piernas duelen mucho. Sí. Uh -huh. Entonces, de todas formas, estoy fregada porque uh -huh. ni de una ni de otra. Hoy me estaba inyectando este hoy. Uh -huh. Imagínese usted, decir, que, usted que conoce de eso, ¿verdad? Sabe mucho de eso. Uh -huh. Puede tratarse, digamos, bien, de forma sí. ordenada, ¿verdad? Entonces, sí. Educada, pero uno, uh, inyectate esto, ¿verdad? Hacer tal Ajá. cosa. <risa> sí, la gente, la gente Ajá, le dice, gente. póngase eso, póngase lo otro. Pero no, no. o sea. Más con los nervios de bien difícil. No, puede quedar sí, uno iniciado, ¿verdad? Puede quedar sí. iniciado. Yo ahí me estaba, no, aquí se lo digo, que sí. de repente cuando me tenía practicando, se me dio sueño así como dos veces. <risa> y después me paré, fui a decir, me eché agua. Y dije, no, no puede ah, ser. ¿no? Cansado. Voy a dar una clase extra hoy, porque comencé en la mañana. Uh -huh. Bueno, andado de arriba para abajo. Y como ya estamos en las últimas de cerrar el año, como es año, ah. calendario americano de trabajo. Ah, pues por eso. Estamos en lo de locos. Y mañana hay grado. Me imagino. Ajá. Ay, no. Qué cansado. Sí, sí. Pero bueno, es segunda semana, así que ya vamos, ya. Después de esta semana. Sí. Mire, teacher, sí. lo que le iba a decir, que si me puede dar una explicación ahí de la clase de lunes. Lunes creo que fue que no me conecté, va. El pasado. El count bien. versus non count. Ajá. Ok, vale. Sí, con gusto. De hecho, aquí tengo yo eh, eh, cuestiones de repaso, fíjese, que no, lo, no los cubrimos. Y este que no hicimos, este vamos, si gusta, hacemos juntos. Uh -huh. es, es un ejercicio que está en línea, yo le voy a apoyar. Para okay. que aprovechemos. Vaya, básicamente con estas palabras, count or non count nouns, eh, en inglés... Es un poquito complicado porque le dice que no le tiene que agregar S a, a palabras que están relacionadas con comida, con bebidas uh -huh. y cosas así, ¿verdad? Cuestiones abstractas como el amor, el dolor, ¿verdad? Que usted, bueno, usted, No ¿verdad? se pueden medir. Ajá, exactamente. Pero usted me dice, mira, es que oh, me duele y uno empieza a darle palabras, pero al final, o sea, solamente usted sabe. Uh -huh. O un sufrimiento, algo que usted tiene, o un dolor, pero que no sea emocional, se, algún pariente falleció o algo, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, aquí está un poquito borroso, no vamos a leer esto, en, solamente le recuerdo las reglas de oro que aquí están, mira. Y aquí dice, en los, en los contables, que son la gran mayoría de palabras, se pueden hacer plurales, es decir, que usted le agrega la S, y lo contrario del plural es, se pueden hacer singulares, agregándole el un o uno. ¿Verdad? Ajá. Usted dice una llave, dos llaves, 
¿verdad? Una manzana, dos manzanas, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces, pero eh, con, con los no contables, por ejemplo, el dinero, el agua, el amor, things like that, ¿verdad? Entonces, usted uh -huh. no puede ponerle, bueno, en español usted dice, ¿verdad? Yo tengo dos amores, ¿verdad? Mi mamá, ¿verdad? Y mi cobija, no sé. <risa> por hacerle, pero en, en inglés no puede ser usted, ¿sí? Eso, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ajá, entonces no le puede agregar ese, por decirme, waters o, 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 o monies. Cuando usted necesita una escala de medición, ahí es incontable. Por ejemplo, el dinero se cuenta por las monedas, por los billetes, ya todos sabemos, ¿verdad? Eh, la temperatura, ¿verdad? Temperature, usted no dice, hay muchas temperaturas o tiene las, las temperaturas, dice el por el termómetro y usted empieza a ocupar sí. ¿verdad? Fahrenheit y todo eso, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces, la music y, y todo. Entonces yo les di un cuadrito que se lo puedo compartir a usted, de hecho, de una sola vez acá, ¿verdad? Y creo que ese cuadrito le va a servir como referencia. Ay, no hay que memorizarse eso, sino que nos va a servir de, de referencia. Está un poquito manchado porque es lo que ocupamos ahí. Lo voy a mandar. Dígame los primeros dígitos de su número, por favor. Su número, su número de WhatsApp, si me comparte, por favor. 7211. ¿Sí? 9520. Ahí está, ahí tiene un paisaje. ¿Verdad? Se llama lo de, de Karen, ¿verdad? Sí, ajá. Uh -huh. okay. Lo de Karen. Bueno. Ahí está. Vale. Ese que está ahí, fíjese ese cuadrito, uh -huh. le, resume, le resume las palabras que con comida, actividades, cuestiones abstractas, uh, del clima, los gases, y cosas así, ¿verdad? Que no se le puede poner la S. Entonces, la regla de oro es que no podemos hacer singular eh, para hablar de water, decir a water. Puede decir a bottle ah. of water, ¿verdad? Puede decir usted. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Eh, quiero ver dónde está lo que le estaba compartiendo. Aquí está, ¿verdad? Entonces, es lo mismo del cuadrito que lo acaba de mandar, mire. Ajá. Es lo mismo. Pero aquí está, ¿verdad? Con, con dibujitos y todo esto. Entonces, vamos a hacer un ejercicio. Dice, eh, aquí tenemos bread, sickness, ¿verdad? Una enfermedad, ¿verdad? Sickness. Mm -hmm. Sicknesses. Um, y dice, read and select the correct answers. Aquí vamos a definir, ¿verdad? De la 1 a la 6, si usted me permite. ¿Cuáles uh -huh. son countable y what, which ones are non-countable? A su izquierda tenemos los contables y a su, dere y a su derecha los, los, los no contables. No. I see five monkeys y la palabra monkeys es counting, no, right? Uh -huh. Es circular. I have a good idea. I have a good idea. Entonces usted tiene que ver si es singular. Quiere decir que es contable, ¿verdad? Porque usted lo puede contar uh -huh. con su dedo, ¿verdad? Entonces, idea. Sí, entonces sí. Count, uh -huh, count. There is a lot of furniture in the house. Furniture, uh, los muebles, ¿verdad? En realidad, sí. como eso envuelve varias cosas, una mesa, una silla, uh -huh. algo, ¿verdad? Entonces, furniture son los muebles. Pero esta uh -huh. palabra nunca se le agrega a ese. Entonces, no count. Exacto, porque como es algo uh -huh. abstracto, ¿verdad? Los muebles, ¿cuáles? Pues es uno, son dos, son tres, o... Uh -huh. Entonces, accountable. Our town has a shopping mall, ¿verdad? Entonces tiene, tiene un centro comercial, ¿verdad? La ciudad. Uh -huh. Por ahora le dice, ¿verdad? Cam, ¿verdad? Tenemos uh -huh. este centro, tenemos tal cosa, ¿verdad? I'm hungry, I want some cheese. Por regla, las cuestiones de comida, ¿verdad? Cuestiones así, que son como de una sola pieza, el queso, la crema, eh, la leche, uh -huh. son incontables, ¿verdad? Right? And there you go. No. Non-count or non-countable. Uh -huh. And the last one, there are some sandwiches for you. Si, si, si de entrada usted tiene que es un plural, eso es contable. Uh -huh. ¿Ok? Entonces, yo say count now. Entonces, uh -huh. si le damos acá. Eh, submit answer. De hecho, esto no lo hicimos porque yo, yo siempre tengo mayor, más actividades por, por, si se me, por si necesitamos más práctica y todo eso, pero no, nunca se los comparto todas porque eh, es demasiado, pues vamos a abrumar. Eh, 
Aquí está, mira. Ah, esa creo que no la, no la marqué. No la marcó. Ajá. Ajá, ese count nouns. A cheese and a non count. Ajá, esta. Bueno, ahí está. Pero eh, eso es. Entonces, ¿cómo hace usted? ¿Cómo se refiere usted cuando dice yo tengo mucho trabajo que hacer? Usted va a decir, I have a lot of. Esas son las palabras, las palabras claves que va a ocupar, ¿verdad? A lot of. Y aquí está. Eh, ya para ir cerrando, quiero ver. No, no está aquí. Se lo había compartido. Bueno, el primer ejercicio que hicimos al principio, ¿se acuerda? Ajá, sí. A lot of, cuando usted quiere ocupar, decir mucho o bastante, ¿verdad? Y eso aplica uh -huh. con cualquier palabra. En match es solamente con no contable y el many es con contables. Sí. Yes. Usted dice, yo tengo, no sé, muchos pacientes que, que atender. I have many patients to see tomorrow, right? Okay. And just like that. All right. Así que ya se nos fue la hora. Ya no le tengo más. Para que ella quiera descansar, la verdad. Apenas se... Sí. No, <ríe> Ay, sí, por, eso, por rato no me mira ahí. ¿Por qué estoy parada? Porque no, ¿no? Sí, ya por eso fíjese que... Eh, yo sé que usted me colabora mucho y está siempre bien atenta, pero ya por eso de repente primero miro si está la... Usted, sí, la, la, mire la, la, que la pregunta. semana pasada que estuvimos en clase, nada, no, no puse atención porque me sentaba, me paraba, me estiraba, me buscaba posición porque... Sí. Y pero, yo estaba solo por estar. ¿no? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Fíjense pero, que este módulo es bastante de repaso. Yo miro unos temas que ya los vimos. Y Ajá. así no son, no son tan, tan importantes, diría yo, ¿verdad? Son cositas, sí, sí. detalles. Entonces, uh -huh. por lo menos, eh, no se sienta tan presionada, ¿verdad? Pero si usted apaga la cámara, ahí estés, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Ahí estés, no se preocupe. No se preocupe. Okay. Okay. Porque es un mes el que me han dejado de recuperar. Sí, sí, es bastante tiempo. Es bastante tiempo. Si no puedo sentar un mes. No, 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 no. Pero aquí estoy, que me paro, que me levanto. A veces tengo que caminar para como para destrabar el dinero. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Pero sí. sí. Bueno, primero. De todas formas, gracias. Chichi. You're very welcome. Ahí revisamos la plataforma cuando quiera, ¿verdad? Entonces, okay. así como la like hicimos today, right? Okay. Right. So see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night.